So I'm over here on Agua Fria. That's actually a vacant lot right across there. This is the driveway in for 1629, which is right there. And then 1629 and a half, which is in the back. And also for that house there, I'm not quite sure what the address is for that, but there's definitely an easement going through here. And I'm not exactly sure where the property line is for 1629. So you could maybe come out this way a little bit. And then <clears throat> you've got this parking area here, which is pretty generous, you know, easily two cars could a casita fit over here i'm not really sure you'd have to probably worry about setbacks from the lot line for sure out here on the front where the sidewalk is but that fence is in just slightly so maybe it could work um all the soffits and the woodwork look rotted out this one window looks to be replaced maybe you know definitely needs new windows but i don't see any like damage or anything there's, you know, some cracks in the stucco. It looks to be that it's on a crawl space and the house is pretty decently sized. Got an old chimney up there. And this is the only door to the whole house. So it's a sliding glass door. You can come into the dining room and they're using it as an office, I guess, to this might have been added on. You can kind of tell that the ceilings drop down just a little bit. <clears throat> but all in all, pretty decent little room that used to have some skylights, but they're boarded up now. I don't know if that's signs of a leak there or just bad patching, but it's definitely a little bit funky. The house feels solid though. This part right here is on a slab. So maybe this used to be the front porch and they finished it in. But the back half of the house is, seems to be on a crawl space. So cute little kitchen. I honestly love those cabinets with the cool inlays on there. That would be something worth saving. Pretty nice. It's got gas stove, sink, nice window, good light coming into the kitchen here couple of overheads this is a drop ceiling in here so that maybe could be taken out and find some vegas up there or something it's not really a whole lot of storage uh, but they do have a big fridge right over there uh, no dishwasher and they have an extra little freezer stand freezer but that all could come out um, a little bit of wood paneling but these walls are solid either plastered or adobe then you have the living room it's going to be dark in here so hope you can see enough they have a lot of firewood in here so they're clearly using that firewood to heat the house um, that's a pretty deep windowsill another indication of your adobe status wood paneling on the walls in the living room here and then you have this other drop ceiling i don't think that's asbestos style but that could be a concern um but it looks newer so maybe not this is definitely on a crawl space at this point uh little arched entryways it's a nice little touch this vent pipe is for the actual heater which is one of these little uh gas fired uh floor heaters and it looks like they're not even using it maybe it doesn't even work i'll keep an eye out for other signs of heating <clears throat> hallway a little bit more wood paneling this is the first bedroom here um, again there's carpeting throughout the house be curious to see if there's anything cool underneath it Looks like wood floors, gentlemen. Can't be sure if that's going throughout the whole house and I don't want to pull it up too much because somebody's living here. <clears throat> uh, so a bit more wood paneling here. This is a pretty small room with one window that's blocked off. Uh, this is another drop ceiling too. There's something up there, maybe. Maybe Vegas, it might just be dirt. 
So they got a big piece of furniture in the hallway here. This is looking a little crooked. If you can tell that door frame, Let's see if the door closes. Yeah. Might just be the door frame. Could be more than that though. Uh, old ass hot water heater, old ass electric panels. This is actually a safety hazard. I can't believe that there's people living in this house. Um, and then you got a washer and dryer and the bathroom. There's only one bathroom, but it does have a shower. It's got a little window here. All these windows are need to be replaced. Looks like there was some patching going on along behind the wall here. Can't really tell what that's about. From a prior leak, maybe. But everything seems sound, I have to say, within the house. I mean, clearly it needs to be redone. But So now we're going into the second bedroom. Oh, more wood paneling. The ceilings are a little bit lower in here. Um, no smoke detector, but they have a huge TV. And this entry was directly into the third bedroom. And the ceilings are getting a little bit lower here. There's a heater. I'm not sure if that works or not, because I have seen a couple of other little space heaters around the house. This is just a lot of stuff in here. Look at that sag in that ceiling there. Whew. But that's... That's pretty hollow sounding up there. That could just be, I don't know what that is, honestly. More carpeting, but you're still on the crawl space. That has a <clears throat> closet. It's impossible to see in there because there's no light. So could you seal this off and open this up here from the hallway so that the three bedrooms, you don't have to go through one bedroom to get to another? Probably not. It's like right where that wall is the same place that the other door is. Um, anyways, I'll take a quick spin outside, see if I can notice anything else in particular. I know this is going fast. Hopefully you guys aren't getting too dizzy. Somewhat of a fence on that. Definitely fenced around here. It's it's not bad. I mean, it probably really it needs new windows. It needs new stucco. But it, it's not terrible the way it is now. I mean, obviously somebody's living here, so it can't be that bad, right? Oof. These windows are not even closed. Could be one reason why it's very cold in the house. Hey, God, looks like there's kids living in here too. A um, little bit of metal is going on at the top of that. I can't really see what the roof is, but <clears throat> it doesn't look terrible. It's another good sign that it's been maintained at least so that there's no anything leaks or anything. This whole thing is, a, oh, that window is going into a shed. Let's see what's going on here. Okay, we've got a big ass shed. This is on a slab. Definitely a lot of signs of leaks there. This whole thing could be torn down, but you have the slab to rebuild on. Um, they just they just jury rig this to the side of the house. <clears throat> but you do have a slab foundation. And there's a little bit of adobe. So maybe this was a porch at one time and they filled this in too. Um, <clears throat> maybe they started to do some electrical work. I only see like a couple of empty boxes. Never even finished. So this, this is the back of that other window that I was just looking at. That's not going into the house. So this definitely has some square footage possibilities here. Oh, it's just framed out. Maybe you could save the walls. Maybe it just needs a new, it definitely needs that replaced. That is all jury rigged up there. 
It's a fairly good sized crack right there. I don't think it's indicative of the foundation. It's probably just the stucco duct tape window. And the neighbors are right here. Not really sure if somebody's actually living there or not. And then just dropping off over the edge of that is, um, let's see, Torreon. So there's a whole nother little neighborhood down in there. But you're only a couple blocks from Frenchies, which is just down that way to the south. And then also you've got um, the river trail right and running along there too. So definitely has some potential. Could you go up higher, add more square footage? Probably. I don't even know what this is. Could be the dryer vent that they have covered with a towel. And then there's a vent for the crawl space. This is the dryer vent. That's the dryer vent. And then I don't know what all that stuff is laying there. Anyway, that's the scoop. I'll send this to you guys and we can talk. Oh yeah, I forgot this giant swamp cooler. Thing is humongous. All right, bye.